We're continuing with our coverage here at the Minds of Money Conference in Toronto. And joining me now is Angelina Mehta. She sits on the board of directors for Women in Mining Canada. I do not know how we have not crossed paths before, but welcome to the show. Thank you. You sit at the helm of a very important organization in our industry. Just tell us a little bit about the mission of the, of the group. Perfect. So Women in Mining Canada has been around for, I want to say, about nine or uh, ten years. Um, our mission is to educate, elevate and empower women in this industry and it's also to be really collaborative with other groups that are working to advance the same, um, the same uh, message. Obviously it's a very difficult mission to accomplish and not something you could be done overnight. You know, just looking around the room now, Angelina, we are a minority in, in the room. How can women uh, break through barriers here? Well, one of the uh, initiatives that we've kicked off this year with Women in Mining Canada is to build partnerships with organizations such as Minds and Money. So I'm happy to say that we've partnered with the conference going on this week so that we could open up our list of uh, members and promote women that have uh, subject matter expertise on the topics that we're going to cover at this conference and making sure that they're visible at this conference and in front of uh, the audience here. What are some initiatives that mining companies should be doing to to help raise awareness in this and bring more women into the industry? Okay, I guess what I could talk about is one of Women in Mining Canada's uh, key awards, which is the Trailblazer Award. Uh, we uh, give that to a pioneering woman that has basically spent her career blazing trails in the industry. We have an award for students as well and we have um, a mentorship award as well and uh, I guess last year we added the Indigenous Trailblazer Award and the Indigenous Student Award and I think that companies should be supporting their women uh, on staff and putting their names forward for these kinds of uh, awards so that we can uh, we can we can see them at these events. And Angelina, tell us a little bit about your personal experience in the industry. How did you get started? Well, I did a mining engineering degree and ended up in operations in ABCB uh, right out of school. So it was uh, it was kind of trial by fire. But what I love about this industry is how small it is and how supportive it can be. So I think um, I think creating re positive relationships is really the way forward. So isn't that also part of the equation is reaching you know girls that are in college or university right now and letting them know, hey, there's a great industry which can be very lucrative. I mean, are, are you doing that as part of your mission? Yes, so um, our whole objective with Women in Money Canada is to build uh, relationships and be collaborative with other organizations that are aligned. Um, so we talk to universities all the time. We have student branches right across this country. Uh, Women in Mining uh, Toronto student branch has been very active. There's one at McGill and every, every month it seems like there's a new group, mainly mining engineering schools, but also finance and law and other groups that participate in mining that want to, to come on board and encourage students at the education level. Angelina, great mission, a great cause. Thank you so much for uh, educating you, us about this today. And thank you for watching. We'll have much more for you on Kiko.com.